I would like to say Tashile to everyone. Mm. So, are you starting your Vajasat retreat tomorrow? Yes. Oh, very nice. Then it is Nangbasawai, new ways. You probably all new Buddhist, new to Buddhism. Uh, can you raise your hand if you're new to Buddhism? More or less. More or less. What means you? Actually, when you're just starting, then you're a beginner. If you don't know how to take refuge well, that means you're still a beginner. Then we are not that beginners. Ale, <laughs> yeah. So then maybe you're not beginners. <clears throat> um, maybe most of you are so Lama Sopa Rinpoche students. Yeah, So that's very good. Yeah, that's what I'm but uh, normally, the reality Lama is not no way to get in diet, like a speech and like mind is always remain. Mm. 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 Now, in, in the 21st century, it is very, very difficult to find a Lama so precious like that. In the 21st century, it is difficult if we don't have such a Lama to have real bodhicitta. Mm. Mm we really need a Lama who is Vajadara himself, like Lama La. Um, it has to be someone who has the union of bodhicitta and emptiness in their own mind stream. Lama Jungna and Lama Sung Ma. Mm -hmm. So, so um, while the Lama is still with us, he can teach us directly about bodhicitta and emptiness. But even when the Lama passes away, bodhicitta and emptiness never pass away. Mm. Nanga Yatawa. The mind of the Lama is like space. <coughs> it is uh, suchness, pure and genuine suchness. Mm. <coughs> Mm -hmm. And since the mind of bodhicitta is great compassion, it is something that is vast and it encompasses all, each and every sentient being. This is something that can never pass away. Mm -hmm. 
화장기 기침을 했. Whatever we do in our life, uh, may it be meditation or even just doing our job, it is extremely important to practice bodhicitta and emptiness. 대성자 레니 아다참 대바이나라 아다 가르치와 있나 참로다 심지에게 지이 마지나 엔 낭바차기요 말해. Um, so, because that is the case, whatever you do, may it be retreat or any other, um, any other activities, um, if your refuge is not embraced by bodhicitta and emptiness, then it doesn't become dharma. Mm-hmm. And so, especially the practice of um, Vajrasattva itself actually comes in the context of the generation mm-hmm. stage. Mm-hmm. So, uh, when it comes to the context of the generation stage, it is very important to understand and know um, your, uh, your aspiration and your um, devotion. Mm-hmm. And so uh, now we are talking about Vajrasattva practice. So what Vajrasattva is, it is your own root Lama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Vajrasattva also is bodhicitta and emptiness itself. It is the union of bodhicitta and emptiness arising as the deity. And so there is nothing separate, there is no Vajrasattva separate from, the, from that. <laughs> And so then in the extra, extraordinary explanation of Vajrasattva, there is um, the appearance of Vajrasattva holding a Vajra and bell. There is both the appearance of the father and mother together, as well as the just the father by himself. Mm. Mm-hmm. So when we are doing the Vajrasattva practice, it is the main uh, thing that we are remembering at that time is the four powers. So this is a Sekova Tomo Mavan Savi, Tibata Jiba. Mm-hmm. Think that I am purifying all the negativities that I have accumulated since beginningless lives. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, generating regret for all your past misdeeds and generating an aspiration to give up all negativities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so since all negativities and all suffering come about through causes and conditions, we have to think about the method in which we can actually purify this. Mm -hmm. And so we think that we generate regret regret for all of the misdeeds, the power of regret for all of the misdeeds that we have accumulated since beginningless lives. If we put it simply, simply put. Mm-hmm. So simply put, we think that all the lamas, your own lama, the Buddhas, 
the bodhisattvas, all the protectors, all the uh, khandros, all the uh, dakinis, all the dakas, all the protectors are all encom encompassed within Vajrasattva as your root guru. Mm. And then... Mm -hmm. uh, and then we take from the holy uh, body of the deity, we take the blessings of the body, from the holy body, the holy speech of the deity, we take the blessings of the speech, from the holy mind of the deity, we take the blessings of the mind. So this is the way to think. And I think maybe you already know these things. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what um, what has to be taught here is Dharma, right? So Dharma means mm -hmm. So Chu means transformation and what, what needs to be Chu here is the our mistaken view transformed into or changed into uh, unmistaken view and our mistaken conduct into uh, unmistaken conduct. Mm. 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 So it is through the view, the view of dependent arising, that we generate a sense of emptiness, that we generate the view of emptiness. And it is the mind of self-grasping, the mind that attaches or um, grasps itself to a solid existence that needs to be purified. And the, the most important thing for this purification is actually the understanding of emptiness. In order to remove this attachment and this grasping at, at solid I, we need to realize emptiness. So emptiness, since emptiness is dependent arising, it is very important to be introduced correctly to what emptiness what the real meaning of emptiness is. And so then going through the different um, subtleties of dependent arising, we will finally come to a proper understanding of what that means. Hmm. When the understanding of dependent arising comes to the more subtle uh, levels, uh, then we will really find a sense of what liberation means. Hmm. And not only will we, understand, will we understand that liberation is possible, but we will also understand how to attain that. Hmm. And, yeah. oh, sorry, and that, I, that we ourselves can do that. Hmm. Mm. And if you ask me how important is it to understand emptiness, it is extremely important. Whether we are Buddhists or not. Mm. Uh, whether we accept Buddhism or we do not accept Buddhism. Mm. We don't want suffering and we want happiness, right? Mm -hmm. And the condition that brings about all of our suffering, it is the mind of attachment. And this mind of attachment, it is a deluded mind. And when I say deluded, I mean it doesn't understand the way things really are. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And not only does it not understand the way things really are, it understands them in a mistaken way. It, it misunderstands them. Mm. So our mistaken mind sees all phenomena as permanent, whereas they are actually impermanent. Mm -hmm. And it generates attachment to things that are impure as if they were pure. It generates attachment to things that are in the nature of suffering as if they were in the nature of happiness. Mm -hmm. And the root of all of these things is the attachment that cross grasps as things as if they were truly established, whereas actually they have no self. So this also is called ignorance. It is called self-grasping. It's called self-cherishing. This bad mind, a negative mind of mm. ignorance, true, true, true. It is a mistaken mind, oh, deluded mind. Chiala. In order to remove this, and so, because things are actually not inherently established, whereas we grasp to them as being uh, inherently established, established, we need to find the mind that sees the things in an unmistaken way. And this mind is the mind of perfect wisdom. It is the mind that understands the reality of things. Mm. And if we have an unmistaken view, then our conduct too will be unmistaken. If our view is mistaken and sees things as if they have true existence, then our conduct too will be full of self-grasping and full of self-cherishing, and it will make our mind very narrow-minded. It will make our mind very small. Because in general, we are not people who don't have a kind heart. We mm. all have this. Mm. We have the nature of love within us. Mm. But usually our love is biased. Mm. Mm -hmm. So usually uh, to, to all sentient beings, we are a little bit deceived when it comes to um, seeing them as equal. And some people, you know, we see some people as being very close to us and some people uh, as uh, an object of aversion. Mm. And the others, we just kind of keep them in equanimity. We have no particular feeling to them. Mm -hmm. And because this mind, how, however kind and however nice that is, it is actually something that can be destroyed by different con uh, conditions. ตาวาชินจมาลอดิยากอซัมตาติงจุยเทคอนนานิลเตซัมตาเดนเดทาร์บาทอบจุยยอบาฮาโคเวเทนเอนทอมดุยคิลอเจเดนเดเจเนรัง
the renunciation that we need. Then that renunciation will cause us to have complete non-bias, love and compassion for other beings. And so then um, having perfect wisdom and perfect compassion, we will enter an unmistaken path. Um, and then, um, from, from bodhicitta, the view of uh, conduct of bodhicitta and the view of uh, emptiness arises this deity, the union, from the union of these two arises the deity of Vajrasattva. And then, because this ha the deity has, this union has um, unsurpassable wisdom, unsurpassable love, unsurpassable capacity, it has also that capacity to, <coughs> in fact, purify all of our negativities. Mm. And so when you're doing your session, sessions, you will do them according to the four powers. Mm -hmm. um, so whether you do uh, four sessions a day or maybe three or two, um, what is the most important thing is that your practice is embracing refuge and bodhicitta and um, embracing unmistaken refuge and bodhicitta. So then uh, it will be virtuous in the beginning, it will be virtuous in the middle, and it will be virtuous in the end. Mm. And so if you were to do a retreat for like an, a bit of time as you're doing, then these mm. things have to be explained. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, in general, what, are, what is the explanation of the Four Noble Truths? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, based on that, you have to find for yourself a strong conviction and faith. So then understanding the truth of suffering and, and understanding where this suffering comes from, understanding its origin, understanding that the truth of cessation is the nature of the mind. It is the nature that is uh, nature that is free from any negativities and is um, not established from its own side, doesn't have any intrinsic nature. Then the path that comes about, that our suffering comes about through different causes and conditions and that whatever um, happy feelings and sad feelings we experience come about through causes and conditions. Then understanding how these four truths are condensed within the two truths, the relative and the ultimate. Tachovati, Lobjonjin, she 
Then they la, ni teba la ina, tangen teba, mendu yu teba, ichi bi teba, sumu yu bi toni, ni ichi bi teba tob jiwa, ichi bi teba tob sumu ina, tangen teba, mendu yu teba, shukla yu ngure. Then ni jene, ni nyamsu le ni de, konberte toni, ni tsam tes. Then, ko, yang 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 yang, tuwe, samba de, ni sam jung yu kwa le ni, ni yang yang yang, gom jang jia zi jiwa. Dedu di tabri kishe goya di pekke chen wure. Dedu samo lama jire ka la wure. Namja mamu zi la wure. And then comes, you know, the explanation of the path of cessation really in the second turning of the wheel of Dharma. So there comes the explanation of actually the Prajnaparamita or the perfections and how to uproot from the root, the negativities, what conditions and what causes are um, um, are supporting that cessation. And then the, in the uh, third turning of the wheel of Dharma is the introduction to the nature of the mind, which is luminous. So knowing these and understanding these first through studying is very important. And then slowly you will generate faith and when it comes to faith there's three types of faith there's vivid faith there's aspirational faith and faith of conviction and so the most important out of these three is really to find a faith of conviction once we have that faith of conviction the other two will naturally occur as well and then finally it is the time to practice and that would be then the time to do a retreat and so by thinking about these three turnings of the wheel again and again by yourself and slowly habituating yourself, familiarizing yourself with this subject matter, um, preparing yourself in this way is very important. And so for all of these things, it is also important to rely on your Lama and these things have to be taught by a Lama. Mm. And so first we have to uh, gather the mind mm -hmm. of Refuge and bodhicitta. Doji simbi jese na da ngaji tezo mipa mebi tone, tene temba tebata tamzi yowa mebi tone, ane part mipa mebal jangowa. Tama de tamji tarbata tamji chime koma rangji bo mai ba thai be simje tamji sanji ji koma rambo chita ya dina wutila ane moa manam chaya de dina dres. So first, um, we do the preparation uh, for the Vajrasattva practice. And then when we do the actual practice, we see all, um, all things without any ref reference point. And, um, and we generate faith. We remember our samayas. And then um, through that, we remember that we are doing this practice f in order to um, t attain full enlightenment, full enlightenment, not only for oneself, but for all, each and every sentient being. And then in the end, we dedicate our merit. Mm. And so, you know, during your set, what you need to do during your sessions in your retreat, uh, what the actions of your body, speech and mind should be, should all be taught by your Lama. Dene gom jilu dena la, ngoz, ane gom yung du dena la, ane gom ye, ta kazuru wate, parchun ro wate, chingwa da gwa wa, se, dene yu du dena ane, zi shi jin ji chara, karsi chi gome, an su su te tang ma lo wa, kazuru wate, chingwa da gwa wa, sel da, tap da, man da yu wa yin zang, an te tang ma lo wa, su 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 yu ki lama la ya chit, la me ma, su ne, te de yung ane, ta gom jum nyam ne chi gwa wa re, and so then uh, when it comes to the actual meditation, then one has to be taught what are the possible um, obstacles that one might face. We have to be taught about um, mental excitement and laxity. Um, and we have to uh, understand how to, inv um, how to do introspection of our own mind about whether these obstacles are arising or not. And so there's so many different methods that are to be explained about but, uh, about your meditation sessions and so these all should be taught by your lama. So so nyam ta to bala reba yeba ina. Ani ji be zubu to wa deba yeba dan. Ani ji melam ji zangisha ya dan. Ani ji 
And so then um, while we're doing the retreat, then of course we wonder what are, you know, maybe there are signs that it's going well or not. So if you happen to have any like specific, like beautiful dreams, auspicious dreams, or you start having visions, then you just leave them in equanimity. Um, and then what the actual thing is that we are looking for, like the good signs, it is that in our mind there is less attachment, there is less aversion, that we feel our mind becoming more spacious, that our, we feel our mind becoming more kind and more honest. And so these are actual signs that our meditation is working. Mm. 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 Um, so if you're just sitting there really nicely upright reciting your mantra and you think that um, that this is what you need to this is the real practice uh, then you are deceiving yourself so the real thing that you have to do is you have to transform your mind mm. So what it really what really needs to happen is that your self-grasping mind and your self-cherishing mind need to be harmed. If these two things, your self-cherishing and your self-grasping mind are harmed, then it becomes Buddha Dharma. If there's no such thing happening, then you're just basically having a good rest. You're just relaxing. Uh, and then, you know, of course, because the words are from their own side, very profound, there will be some imprints and there will be some good results, but it will be more like a relaxation exercise. <laughs> If it actually harms your self-grasping and your self-cherishing mind, then you ha get the opportunity to um, to give rise to bodhicitta and emptiness. However nice the excellences of samsara uh, are, they are in the nature of change, they are in the nature of suffering, and they are limited. We need these things for our body, you know, to survive, but we don't, uh, we, they are not so special when it comes to changing our mind. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. But you're not, you, you shouldn't have 100% faith in them. Mm. What we need to have 100% faith in? Mm. The best thing that we really should go for. Mm. The limitless. The, which always protects us. The most beautiful. Which can eliminate all our suffering from the root. Mm. This is bodhicitta and emptiness. Mm. Whether you accept Dharma, Buddha Dharma or not, this is the most important, this is the best. Mm. So I, uh, I hope, I aspire that all of these things come true for you. I pray for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So please, you can take your leave. I have every, said everything that I wanted to say. I will pray for you.